So you're thinking of visiting, living, or going to college in Orono, Maine. Or maybe you're sending your youngster that just unreasonably grew up too fast to this college town. Well, let me give you a bit of a tour, some insight, and help you be at peace about venturing this way. Orono is to Maine what Cambridge is to Massachusetts. With a population just over 11,000, is just 15 minutes north of Bangor, 247 miles north of Havid, and 137 miles north of Portland. All good roads. Orno has an elegant humility about it. The police aren't all up in your face stopping you for a few miles over, and the traffic isn't really much to speak of. The coffee flows freely, and there is a notable shortage of bad characters and shady booze joints. Admittedly, one of the great daily tensions that continually exists is the line in the morning in front of Dunkin' Donuts on Stillwater Ave. However, the tensions are offset by the reality that you truly want those other citizens to get their morning eye-opening cup of joe. Yeah. Orno is parted by the Stillwater River. It enjoys a river frontage on the mighty Penobscot River and is bordered on the west by Pushaw Lake. Water, water everywhere. There are great quality bike trails everywhere, hiking trails too. And since college students are always hungry, hop in your car or take the Black Bear Shuttle and downtown Orno will provide you with an array of culinary options. I recently produced an Orono restaurant review. The link will be in the description below. Now you will like to know about some places to shop. Well, there's Rose Bicycle Shop, Alpen Glow Adventure Sport, Gas Horse Supply, Star Walk Stables, Penobscot Valley Country Club, the Orono Trampoline Park, which is near the interstate in Wendy's. Sadly, Orono's doesn't have a Tim Hortons, but does have a Duncan's Donuts, an Aroma Joe over there by the Rotary, and the Nest, which is downtown. There are three Tim Hortons in Bangor for us purists, and then there's Starbucks over by the Bangor Mall. A surprisingly popular go-to place in Orono is the Orono Thrift Shop. I often buy twin-size sheets there before a trip to Guatemala. Folks at the school in Coban, Alta Verapaz, sure like a fresh set of sheets. You will find the thrift shop at the end of Birch Street. In this historical town, you won't find high-rises, toll booths, or a hospital. And if you happen to fall off a roof, the emergency rooms are just a few miles away in Bangor. What you will discover are adorable eating establishments great drinking water, super air to breathe, healthy fire and police departments, a peaceful town park on the Stillwater River, sundry transportation options, and plenty of things to do in the area. If you need some live entertainment, no worries, plenty of that downtown, just hop on the app Yelp and they will lead the way. If you are into kayaks and canoes, there are plenty of options for fishing, canoeing with the Penobscot and Stillwater River is so handy. And on the western side, as I mentioned earlier, is the Pushaw Lake. Did you know that Jonathan Norcross, the father of Atlanta, was born in Orono? Now you know. You will likely be interested in visiting the Fay Highland Botanical Plantation located on the Orono campus alongside the Stillwater River. It is conveniently located near the admissions building. On the opposite side of the campus is the Lyle E. Littlefield Ornamentals Trial Garden. It is off the Rangeley Road and has a permanent collection of woody and herbaceous ornamentals, which you, no doubt, will find simply gorgeous. Here's a question for you. Did you enjoy this brief overview? Do you want to see more videos like it? Well then, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons, and we'll see you on the next video. Yeah, thank you for watching.